definitely think he killed someone on that road. On this road, there is a ghost man that people see every night walking up and down the road. You can tell it definitely has like a creepy urban legend vibe. Was gate. Gate? <gasps> Shut, Shut up. It's Emma and Siobhan again. Hi. Yeah, we're doing a Spear Keepers investigation on Glenville, New York, and we are investigating the mysterious occurrence of the Turk Man. On this road, there is a man that, a ghost man that people see every night walking up and down the road. Some people say he has a shotgun, some people ha say that he has a shovel. And then some people say that he has a flashlight, but he is always seen on this road, going up and down the road. There's a few different variations as to why people believe the Turkman is here. Um, one of them is that his wife was killed in a hit and run and that he is searching for her killers. And another variation is that his daughter went missing, so he is out looking for her. But yeah, we are, as of right now, just kind of driving up and down Rector Road. Siobhan has her camera up and she's kind of just letting it film as we drive by. We're just trying to get a feel for the road and then we're going to go from there and see if we can do a few things to help activity happen. So yeah, and it's getting to the evening time, so it should be getting a little bit darker, which is when he tends to appear to people. So... Yeah, we're just gonna check it out. This yeah. doesn't seem like it's like a well-known legend. Yeah. I actually hadn't heard of it until Maybe very not. recently. And I was afraid somebody's gonna shoot me from coming around in our house. Probably because I have PTSD from my neighbors. There are some psychos out there, so you gotta yeah, they really be are. careful. Shoot. There are some psychos out there, so you gotta yeah, really be are. careful. You can tell it definitely has like a creepy urban legend vibe. And I could see somebody getting hit on this road. Oh, 100%. Like, because if you walk your dog, like, because I'd still walk my dog on here, and I could see me getting hit. Oh. Someone. That's why they always, like, I walk on the other side of the road, because I would like to see people coming at me so I can move out of the way. I don't like not being able to see. Yeah. I agree. There's a lot of houses for sale. That's yeah, that's another, like. that's another good point you brought up. There's, like, a lot is for sale. I wish we could be cool enough to just stop some one of these families and be like, hey guys. I know, I'm, that's the one thing I, I'm, I don't have the balls. Is there anyone here called the Bi-Bat Man? No, I'm just kidding. What is it? The Turk? Turk Man. Turk it man. just said bend. What's bending? What do you mean bend? Is the Turk Man here with us? Was anyone on this road involved in a hit and run? Did somebody kill your wife or somebody important to you on this road? Were you a victim of a crime? 
Would you like us to leave you alone? Knife. Oh my god, he just got knife. It's inter it's so interesting that that came up because I was gate. Gate? Is there a <gasps> gator? <gasps> Shut, Shut up. up. Oh my god, it's just a gate. There's a gate right Dude. over there. Are you over by the gate? Did something happen? What yeah, there's a gate us? right there. You see the gate. Oh my god. What do you want to tell us? Knife? Yeah, maybe he's holding a knife. Maybe maybe all those other th things about the shotgun, shovel, and flashlight are wrong. Maybe it's a knife. Maybe that's why he has one he... Is there anything you want to say to us? Did you ever find the people who killed any one of your family members? Or can you help us? Was it your wife or your daughter who that you're trying to avenge? Why do you scare the local kids out of here? Are you the reason why there are so many houses for sale? Are people afraid of you? Wow. I can't believe it's a knife and yeah. gate. Maybe... I don't know. I have my own theories. I think, I think you should take out your spirit box and we should go down the road with uh, the car. Yeah. And see what we get. I think that's a good idea. We're about ready to head back down the road and I am starting up S -box. the S-Box. And we're going to ask some questions and... See if the Turkman would like to talk to us. Yes, here we go. Yep. Okay. There's a lot of talking right now. They said I heard four haze and it said hey 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 and then it was like four. Is there anyone here who would like to talk to us? Thank uh -huh. 
was a yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head out now, but thank you for your time. Um, you cannot follow us. Yeah, please do not follow us home, and we will maybe we'll come back, but you can't follow us. So yeah, you have to stay here. Goodbye. Hey guys, Hi how's guys. it going? We are doing, you know, our typical reflection videos. And this one, this is a big one. When we were checking out the footage, we were for sure catching things that we did not yes. know was going on there. That's for damn sure. I don't think we really knew what we were gonna get with this because it's really not well known and who knows if we, we were just checking this out. So, at one point in time, we're coming down the hill, we turn off the road really quick to turn around um, out of somebody's driveway, and uh, we're talking about, oh, like, how we hate to turn into people's driveways, and they could be serial killers and stuff, and all of a sudden we hear, hear a male voice, and it sounds like it either says, uh... I want your skin, or I want their skin. Or I'd like their skin. Yeah. So, something along Something the about side. skin. Yeah. Very clear. It's very creepy. It's very creepy. It's like a whisper. It's like this. Yeah. Yeah. It it's... sounds male. Oh, chills. Oh, oh yeah. We got yeah. full full body chills because... Yeah. No, it was beyond creepy. And, was... and, we, and we both heard it at the same time when we were reviewing footage. Siobhan was like, okay, so what was that? And I, I heard it too, and I was like... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then, and then we went back, and you can hear it on both of our audio, but it's crazy because we didn't hear it at the time. Yeah, no. That's ridiculous. And it's very clear. And we, we tried to look on, on the like footage to make sure like none of us were talking or anything and one of them you could see my lips but like they're not moving until after yeah there was another weird part where, it was the part yeah. with the ghost radar yeah mm -hmm. so we're sitting on top of the mountain like right when we take out the ghost radar and we're like oh we're asking questions it says gate now to the right of us is a gate that, like, literally was just, like, a gate you go in and buzz yourself in. We were yeah. so freaked out. And another thing that came up was the word knife. And I just thought it was so interesting because people in this urban legend, people make a big deal out of, like, what the guy is supposed to be holding. Yeah, maybe he, he's actually holding a knife. Like I said, there's, like, so many different versions of this you never know spirit box session i'm sure we'll probably get get some stuff on there we heard a few things while we were there like i said that's one of those things where i really have to go through and like really break down the spirit box stuff because it's hard to like hear it when you're just like sitting there looking at it and this really was exciting and i'm gonna break into research mode on this and maybe hopefully we'll find you some more things or hopefully more people start looking into this too yeah Especially locals, because this is cool. Yeah, it, it, it's really cool. Whether the Turk man is someone who was avenging someone's death or not, I definitely think he killed someone. I definitely think oh, yeah. he, he was a killer, 100%. And if you see that area, those houses have a lot of land behind them. Yeah. I want to know what house. The, and let's not forget, dude, about like four or five houses on that street are for sale. Yeah. That's just my theory. Like I said, I mean, there's so much we still don't know. So, who, I mean, who knows? But from our evidence and stuff, he, I definitely think he killed someone on that road. I, he seems aggressive. Please enjoy, subscribe, like us on Facebook. Make sure you share the video mm -hmm. with all your friends, especially if you're up, from upstate New York. You're like, yeah. hey, look at this cool place. Make sure let us know about suggestions. All right, guys, you have a wonderful Bye. night.